This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Coolant renewal. Operate the bonnet release lever, which is located in the driver's footwell. Release the bonnet security catch by lifting it upwards, then raise the bonnet. Unclip the bonnet prop. Locate the prop to hold the bonnet securely in its open position. Apply the handbrake. Chock the rear wheels. Note the mark indicating the jacking point. Position a piece of split hose, as shown, to protect the sill. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Position axle stands, then lower the vehicle. Remove the jack. Remove the piece of split hose from the sill. Remove the eight screws that hold the under tray in place. The under tray can now be unclipped and lowered. Remove the under tray from underneath the vehicle. Position a suitable container beneath the coolant drain outlet, which is fitted to the coolant bottom hose end fitting. With the engine completely cold, Unscrew the expansion tank cap. Where no drain outlet is fitted to the hose end fitting, prise out the retaining clip a little and disconnect the bottom hose from the radiator to drain the coolant. Once all the coolant has drained, securely tighten the radiator drain plug or reconnect the bottom hose to the radiator, as shown here. Where necessary, also reconnect the coolant hose to the oil cooler and secure it in position with the retaining clip. Remove the draining container from under the vehicle. If the recommended SEAT coolant is not being used, Ensure that a suitable antifreeze mixture is used all year round to prevent corrosion of the engine components. SEAT recommends that only distilled water should be used to dilute the mixture. Insert a funnel and slowly fill the system with the coolant. Continue to fill the cooling system until bubbles stop appearing in the expansion tank. Help to bleed the air from the system by repeatedly squeezing the radiator bottom hose. When no more bubbles appear, top the coolant level up to the max level mark, then securely refit the cap to the expansion tank. Run the engine at a fast idle speed until the cooling fan cuts in. Wait for the fan, shown here, to stop. Then switch the engine off and allow the engine to cool. When the engine has cooled, check the coolant level. Top up the level if necessary and refit the expansion tank cap. Position the tray under the vehicle. Raise the tray and clip the front of the cover into position. Secure the tray by refitting the eight screws. Fit a piece of split hose to protect the sill. Jack up the vehicle, remove the axle stands, lower the vehicle and remove the jack. Remove the chocks from the rear wheels And don't forget to remove the piece of split hose from the sill at the jacking point. Remove the bonnet prop 
from the bonnet. Clip the prop into its stay. Lower the bonnet and close it securely.